On RPM TV, we often bemoan the fact that South Africans prefer SUVs to station wagons when it comes to their options for family transport. But there is one class of car that is even more maligned than that, and that is the minivan. Part panel van, part people mover, and never one to light up the sales charts. Take this Volkswagen Caddy, for example. In January, VW sold 16 of the things, fewer sales than the Beetle, which is not a universally popular car by any stretch. Be that as it may, here we have the recently launched fourth generation Caddy, loaded with VW's latest design genetics. although it still looks like a van. But by VW's own admission, they've paid attention to the front and the rear. And I guess because that's in the middle, you can't really do much. The details are very nice, and it does have a fairly stylish look to it. It is very obviously Volkswagen from the front, with its headlights and daytime running lights integrated into the redesigned bumper and grille. At the back, our test car has the optional split rear doors, as opposed to a regular tailgate. We're driving the top-of-the-range trendline version, which includes the color-coded bits. The 16-inch wheels are optional. While the words brown paint job would ordinarily end any discussion about how good a car looks, the brown paint job really works. It goes some way to minimizing the car's inherent slabbiness. So at least the styling manages to help it avoid being completely utilitarian. But I'm not so sure about the drive. It is still a diesel and it has a turning circle over 12 meters. And even though it is quite comfortable and quite fancy, it's still based on a panel van. So you need more than just nice seats and a touch screen to smooth over that fact. The underpinnings of the Caddy are identical throughout the range, which includes a basic panel van, a crew bus, and this passenger version. And as it stands, depending on your choice, you'll either end up with a panel van that has a very good drive, or a people mover that feels a bit like a delivery truck. There's one petrol and two versions of a diesel motor for the Caddy. We've got the more powerful 103 kilowatt version. And despite being a little bit hesitant when you pull off in a hurry, it is a decent drive. The six-speed DSG sends power to the front wheels and it generally manages itself very well. With an output of 320 newton meters, concerns about torque steer are not unfounded, but the little Caddy never feels unruly or unstable. It gets the power down easily, and the DSG generally manages itself well, slipping quickly into the right gear when there's a need for a little more power. It is quite car-like and easy to live with, and the ride setup does a good job of making you forget about this car's rather top-heavy design. Besides the worryingly large turning circle, it doesn't feel cumbersome. The suspension, the brakes, the steering, they all feel as good as any other VW. On top of that, Volkswagen also claims a few safety firsts for the segment, including a driver alert system that monitors your steering and makes a noise if it thinks you should take a break. And if you ignore it and the worst happens, the Trendline spec has driver, passenger and curtain airbags as standard. As refined as it's turned out to be though, it still has to have the aspect of usability. Anyone considering a minivan would be doing so for two main reasons, accessibility and space. And with two sliding doors on either side at the rear, the Caddy does pretty well on that first item. But they open up on a cabin that in some respects lacks when it comes to the second. Passenger space is surprisingly tight in here, and that's despite the fact that we're driving the maxi version of the Caddy, which is 40 centimeters longer than the regular one. The first row of seats doesn't offer too much in the way of legroom, and they're fixed in place, so there's none of that clever sliding business we've been getting used to. The Caddy Maxi has a third row of seats as standard. There's also no slidey business as far as they're concerned either. If it's pure cargo space you want, you can pull out the rear seats completely, as long as you have someone to help you, and a bit of patience, and somewhere to keep the seats once they're out.
The best seats in the house are definitely in front, where you'll get the benefit of a touchscreen infotainment system and a nicely laid out setup, albeit almost identical to any other VW product of late. Standard features in here include a USB port, electric windows and mirrors, and a multifunction steering wheel. But there's no getting away from its panel van roots. The door inserts are hard plastic, and the rear doors are clad with an industrial cardboard. The success of any minivan depends on how well it balances a comfortable everyday drive with everyday usability and a flexible interior. The Caddy does have that good drive, and it does have decent space. And although there aren't too many cars, strictly speaking, in its class, for 400,000 Rand, there are other options that will do the job better than this car. The turbo diesel motor in the Caddy is offered in two variants. The more powerful of the two puts out 103 kilowatts and 320 newton meters and is hooked up to a six-speed dual-clutch gearbox. It's a smooth, steady drive and despite its tall stance, it feels sorted under most circumstances. Neither row of rear seats is able to slide, which means ease of use is lacking. The setup in front offers good comfort and spec, but your 400,000 Rand could be better spent.